Oh my god. I'm a sexy soccer mom. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, no, this is not good. You think you know it's cracks? You, you never know this is good. This is so nice, man. Hello everybody, my name is Jody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Amazon haul. Actually, you know what? Some of these things are not from Amazon. So I'm going to be doing a mail pack haul. What is mail pack? Mail pack is my freight forwarder that I use. So when I go shopping online, I send everything to an address in Miami, a mail pack address in Miami. They put everything on their plane for me and then it gets shipped to Jamaica. They clear customs for me and they deliver it. Let's see what I've got. It's a lot of stuff. To Tracy Center things. Okay, so the first thing that I use is this slice razor. So it has a small little blade at the end that's made from um, ceramic. So in most cases, in most cases, it will not tear through clothes. And so far, I have not had any issues. Let's just, I, I'll tell you. My sister has my mail pack information. So let's just see, because I don't know what this is. This is a, oh, <laughs> I do know what this is. This is a Power Ranger sword. This is for my son. And yes, I did order that. Let's see what we have down here. Power Ranger sword, a definite on your list of things you must get. So this is a Jamaican girl. Her name is Kim Possible over on Instagram and her company is M-K-N-E and it's a clothing line. I absolutely love her pieces. And um, she has come out now with a swimsuit line. So you can head on over to her website, M-K-N-E Collection. And oh, so there's two swimsuits here. She sent a swimsuit for Tracy. So she uses our Jamaican symbols. So this is the Aki, this is our national fruit. So I ordered this, oh sorry, she sent this for Tracy. Just for Tracy to feel a little sexier when she's, you know, going on her swim. Because I don't know what kind of swimsuit she had on on Sunday. It was like, anyway. Oh, this one is for me. So this is just, oh, it is a thong. All kind thong, Nisha. So this is a front and then this is just going to tie over my boobs similar to this. And it's a very, actually maybe... This will be a thong on me. So they have very nice swimsuits. So as I said before, MKNE collection, I'm gonna link everything down below in the description. I will put the website so that you can check out her um, her t-shirts, her dresses, her swimsuits. She has some really nice things. And I want to just say, the quality is excellent. I recommend her pieces 100%. That's why I keep going back and I keep buying. The t-shirts are not, not the, you know, the t-shirt, then when everybody buying a bulk and a print, no, they're not that. They're really nice pieces. They wash well. Um, just be careful when you're washing over the um, the prints. I have the coconut, I have the aki, the shorts, and now I have the swimsuits. This one looks like an Amazon package. Let's see what we got. This one was on back order for a little while. All right, so the kids are back at school and Remy Locious, she wants a hot lunch. So whereas Levi is okay with just snacks and fruits, Remy wants hot lunch. And I just kind of struggle with how to give her her little snacks, her fruits, and her hot lunch. So off of Amazon, I got this Omi lunch pan. I believe this lunch pan was on the Shark Tank or something like that. So here's what's so special about it. So you can hold it here and it's just an all-in-one. So you open and you have the warm container here. So you can put soups, her macaroni and cheese. Today she had special fried rice. And the whole, this whole panel comes up. There we go. So you could put a sandwich if you wanted. Then you have a little section up here. I can put some crackers, some chips. What the hell is this? Then you have a longer section here. And if you want, you can just use a divider here just to, and you can move it around. So I can put little candies here. And I can put some biscuits here or whatever. Um, and I like that this popped out for easy cleaning for a sandwich or something else. I can have some variety. Oh, 
Okay, and this is the seal. I guess I can put this must be a seal, like a gasket. So why they never put it on for me? Why why I have to do that? It need it? Let me just keep it, yeah, man. As I throw it away, I will need it. So I'm just gonna rinse this out and I will test Remy lotions with it tomorrow. So sometimes I notice like I'll send her in our lunch pan, let's say a pack of Oreos and she'll have a couple and then bring home the rest. So what I would do now is when she, at school, I would send just half the bag of Oreos in one of these containers and then keep the other half at home in a Ziploc so that, you know, just to kind of keep it fresh and then just to share it up. Cause sometimes when she comes home with the things from school, I don't, I don't really want to save them. If kid get it. These kids are grubby, you know. Then I don't know if it drop on the ground and then she pick it up and put it in her bag and then I'm gonna come and eat the chip. No. So what I'll do is I'll just open the bag of chips and then with opening the bag of chips, I can give half to Remy, half to Levi. So that's um why I wanted to really test out this lunch pan. Um, at one point, this is my favorite gum. This is the Orbit Bubble Gum, but the, the, in this particular package, I keep these in my car. A lot of the times you can get these at the cash register at Hilo. I like that they have the, the, the crunchy shell on the outside. If you buy the ones in the flat packet, they're very like soft and chewy chewy and they get stuck on all my dental work. These ones I like, they're a zero ca Are they zero calorie? They're like low calorie. There's no sugar, there's no this, there's no that, there's no gluten, there's no blah, blah, blah. So that um, it didn't, sugar free, it's sugar free, correct. So, you know, if I'm feeling, I have a very bad sweet tooth. So if I'm dieting or if I'm driving and I just want a little something, I just reach for my gum. And I remember the other day I looked for like a few weeks and I couldn't find this gum anywhere. So of course I just went to a maison. This is a silver puff paint. So, come on, come on YouTube yeah. So you'll find out what this is for. I'm going to be doing some custom work for um, my Halloween costume. So I needed some silver puff paint. Wow, when was the last time you said puff paint? Puff paint was such a big thing back in the what? The 80s or the 90s? I don't know, I, I wasn't born in the 80s. But yeah, okay. And the last thing in that package was mint seeds. If you watched my video, my diet video, I was on the Corfit diet and I have to drink more water. Just in general, but on this diet, I was really encouraged to drink more water, but I like water. So what I would do is I would cut some lime and some mint leaves in my water. And I said, why don't I grow my own mint? Because sometimes I can't find the mint or... And I think that's the mint for mojitos. So I'm going to grow my own mint so I can drink water and mojitos. But more importantly, mojitos. You know what? These videos are the most fun because we get to open packages and see what I bought and you know uh, what you want, what was a good idea, what you see that I need, what you want to get. But to me, these videos are annoying because to put the links in the description, it's a lot to put the links in the description. You know? Oh, you guys are gonna want these. You guys are gonna want these. Okay, so just in that one package, there is this. So these are fridge. Fridge dividers. I'm big on organizing, big on cleaning, and part of organizing is having dividers, containers. So when you open your fridge, and this is for 90% of the fridges, in the door of the fridge, you have like your um your sectional things like where the eggs are, the cheese or whatever, and then you have like the, the like the what is it called? The container, the compartment. So what you do is you slide this onto the edge of the compartment. And so you can have on one side, you can have your milk and on the other side, you can have your juices. So just so you can separate in the door of the fridge in those compartments and keep, you could keep bottles from moving around. Um, you could separate your juices and your water, your, your, your milks, as I said, um, that's what I do. I separate my juices and my water. And then I separate again, the juices from the ganja oil. Yes. Don't want, um, don't want to mix that up there. So just these, um, these actually took a while to come. So I actually collected these um, packages last week. I collected some of them last week. And I was like, oh, you know, I haven't done an Amazon video in a while. And I was like, you know, I like having my content and I love opening on camera. And I like, I like sharing with you guys. Cause I think too, when I go to a friend's house and you know, I look at her things, I'm like, oh, it's cool. I want to order that. And it's something I would have never thought of. So I think that maybe you, to appreciate you know some of the things that i have okay a lot of it is foolishness but you may look and be like oh that's such a good idea let me get that like the fridge door organizers you need to separate your wheat oil from your milk it's very important so i had to wait like a couple of days and then i picked up more packages yesterday and i had to wait again and i have never 
expressed or exude so much self-discipline. Anyway, whatever. I do wear reading glasses. I've worn reading glasses for years. Um, but of late, I got my eyes retested and I do find that I need a little bit of more help. Like I wear my glasses more often. And just because I'm extra, I go onto this website. The link will be down below, um, Vogue You. You'll see the ads popping up on Instagram. And I just buy like the little fashion trend glasses just because it's, it's fun. You know, so if I'm wearing green, I'll put on these new green glasses. The red ones I got from Broadbent on Constant Spring Road. You can go in and ask for Shay. Um, she will assist you. And it was Shay who, those red glasses, which are my nicest pair, are my proper reading glasses. And then I go onto this website and I just order little fun frames, you know? Okay, that's cute. That's cute. I'm not gonna lie, that's cute. This is like, this is like, you know, sci-fi teacher cute. Oh, I like it. I really do, I like it. And it came with a 10% savings card, so I will drop that down below and a $15 off. I'll drop it down below because I'm sure it's not just specific to me that can use this. So if you would like to get the glasses, the most of the glasses, except the red frames, the red frames are my prop on and have everything in there. What do you call it? Not my photo. You girl ain't that old. They have the, they don't have that either. Anyway, the one, those are my proper broadband glasses. These ones now are my reading frames. The ones that you see me reading to with Levi with little stars around and the um, purple and turquoise ones. Sometimes people ask me, everybody asks me. Because I'm just like, you know, in social media influence, you influence. People ask me all the time, you know, where are your cool glasses from? Oh my gosh, girl, you should be an ambassador and stuff. I'm like, yeah, for real. Stop the cap. <laughs> so I get it from Vogue Me, you know, and you can use my code. VLOVE10. V because I'm the very best. So it's my code. Cool. I like these. I like these a lot and they're light. So they have, they have tons of frames. You can check them out. And what I've noticed too from the last time I've ordered, they now come in a hard case. So whereas before they came in like little baggies, they now come in hard cases. A very important job to social media employees, okay? Like, what is this? This is... Oh, bras! So I just can't find like a nice... I like to call them sleeping bras, but they're actually what we call like no wire bras. I can't find like a nice pair, like a nice set, you know? These look big. Well, I guess I do not have small bursts. So these are from Amazon and they're from... Oh, Fruit of the Loom. Okay, 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 okay. So I have a pink. This must be medium. This must be medium. It's a medium, don't it? Size Talia 34. Oh, it's to my back. Okay, that, that is my size. A white and a black. Okay, okay, all right. We'll just see. Straps can't be adjusted. Okay, the straps up here can't be adjusted, but that's okay, your girl can sew. You know what? Don't, don't, don't judge it before you try it on. It's made from cotton and they are lined, so they won't be a see-through. Back on to glasses. So I placed an order from Key Australia. Now, it's every Uptown Girls Rite of Passage to own a pair of Key Australia glasses. Mm, okay. Oh, those are those are nice. Oh, you know what? I didn't look properly. So the the nose piece here with the metal. Um, I I look for glasses that don't have that simply because when I pull my glasses into my hair, it gets all tangled. But then again, you shouldn't be wearing your glasses on your head because it stretches out the arms. So that was the first pair, Key Australia. Comes with a, oh, it's a cute little ombre cleaning cloth. Oh, I like these. I like these. I feel like, I feel like I'm incognito. What? Oh, hi. What's up? Oh, I like, it needs to be straightened. Hey, how are you doing? Driving. 
I like these. And they don't have the metal nose parts, so they won't tumble up my hair. I like these. Yo, I can keep a pair of sunglasses for like donkey's ears. All when I'm scratch up. Oh, it's not the glasses lean. It's my head. <laughs> so a friend of mine came over and she had on. I don't know if I should be admitting this. This is like. Oh my gosh. Okay. So a friend of mine came over and she had on a pair of sandals. And I tried them on because they were like they looked really comfortable. And I tried them on. It's by the brand Crocs, okay? And it's not a regular Croc Croc. It's a nice sandal with a heel, okay? Like I feel like this is so, this is nice. This is really, you can see my, oh. This is nice. That's not crocky. that's like, oh my God. I'm a sexy soccer mom. Oh my God. Ooh, okay, no, it's not good. You people know it's Crocs? No, you know, you, you never know this is Crocs. This is so nice, man. Look at this. Look. Comfort. I mean, you know, not that, you know, I'm looking for comfort. You know, my young can manage any terrain. I like these. And I picked snake skin because I figured like, you know, it was like edgy. Oh my God, I'm just a fan of my Crocs. I'm just a fan of my Crocs. Oh my God, oh my God. This is not good. I need like something that young kids do. A spliff. What? I, I, I'm just depending on why I wear Crocs. Oh my god. Home is going to laugh at me. Home is going to laugh at me. So this next thing now is... Okay, okay, okay. This is a little purple, um, a little purple onesie. It's a part of something special that I'm making for Stevie. You'll of course, you'll see it, you'll see it, but I couldn't open the package and not tell you what it was. I mean, I did show him my fucking Crocs. So I'm constantly working on organizing my kitchen just to kind of make sure that it is um, as efficient as it can be. Um, and I was noticing the other day when, I wasn't cooking, I hate it. I was noticing the other day when the ladies were cooking that the bowls weren't sitting on the, the, the counter properly. So I bought a set of mixing bowls and they have covers. Um, also, one of the things that I didn't like and it's been annoying me is like when Gracie seasons up the meat and she puts it in the fridge, sometimes what will happen is I can open the fridge door and I smell the meat and I didn't like that. So I went to get, a, I wanted to get a set of mixing bowls that have the cover so you can leave raw seasoned meat in the fridge, you won't smell it. Also at the bottom of the bowls, you'll notice that they have like a silicone grip. So when you're mixing and stuff with your bowls, they don't slide around. I don't need to open the bowl. You know what a bowl is? I, I, I think I did a very good job of the description and I'll show you a picture. So I just thought these were a great set of bowls and I chose black because the color color thing, I mean, it's really cute and fun, but then you look around your kitchen and then everything just looks like the island bashful, like everything pink and green and blue and yellow. So I either pick gray, white or black and it's usually gray. However, I wasn't able to find the gray in this set. Um, the, the lids, some of the lids, they have like a vent in them. Anyway, this is what I wanted. I'm gonna put this over here. Great, another old lady thing. Ah, I stand in my Crocs and churn porridge. Many notes, big impact. Oh, so the kids are back at school. My mom had made them some little lunch pan notes and I ran out of, actually, you know what? Every time I ask mommy for a card or something, she doesn't make me pay. And she makes like the best cards. And then, you know, I was just like, I felt bad to ask her again. She made some cute little lunch pan notes. I'll drop her um, at down below. She made lunch pan notes for the kids. And then sometimes like, I feel bad to keep asking her. So anyway, so I bought these little lunch pan notes. Don't tell her, she's probably over here like, okay, oh, I have a link to the Crocs. <gasps> Why you don't want to tell me about Judy? I will make those for you, you know? Why are you going to tell everybody about that now? Don't. Should I even show you? It's just food. This can throw away. When you buy my mom's cards or lunch pan notes, you don't want to throw them away. You don't want to leave them in the lunch pan soaking in um, apple juice and banana peel. So these can, these can, these are nothing. So you are all kinds of awesome. So little positive words of um, affirming, confirmation, do da dips. And then I can write on the back. I'll probably just write Levi because he can identify his name. 
just leave it till lunch pan. No, some days when I see that girl feeling a little sad or whatever, you know. Oh, I have on no jewelry today. Yeah, this is why. All right, so I had some really nice earrings, and um, I noticed that they were the diamond was so big, it was drooping, and they were drooping. So I was like, oh, you know those little earring backs that they have now. Actually, let me do it before and after. Hold on. I just want to let you know that that walk to the bathroom was the most comfortable walk I've ever walked in my clock. <laughs> so, because I guess the stone is so big, damn, don't, don't play yourself. It's drooping. So then I see where these earring backs are advertised that they look like almost like a little butterfly. That if you wear these, it will help your earring from sagging. So here's one earring with one earring can you even see a difference yes you can i can see it here see how it kind of points down like oh sad diamond oh happy diamond okay that looks good let me change out the other one you don't want sad diamonds and it comes um in a pack with i think six see that looks so much nicer no those look like real diamonds Real diamonds start up in our ears. Oh no, these are the wrong size. So I want to change out the diamond in my tooth. I want to change it out to a heart. But you see, you have to be very careful because the teeth diamonds, the tooth diamonds, if they're too big, it just looks so obnoxious and so stupid. And it's just, and it has more of a chance to fall off. You don't want it to have so much surface area on your tooth. So I want it to get a little heart. But they don't do, they don't have the hearts in measurements like how they do the um the, the diamonds. So this was the heart that I got. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, really? It won't even see my There we go. That's way too big to go on my teeth. That take up the whole rat too, hey. Come on. Chow, chow, chow. All right, back to the drawing board. I just wanted a little heart. Just wanted to change it out, you know. I don't have any tattoos, you know, so I just, I just get a little excitement with tooth jewelry. I mean, come on, if that's the only. I really want a tattoo though. See, look, I got like a nice little sticker tattoo up here. Can you even see that? This is a pillow. This is a pillow. When Levi was first born, we were sent a gift from, um, Blonde tattoo in France, and it was also a pillow that said Levi, and Levi uses it um, when he's sitting down at breakfast. And of course, Remy is jealous because she wants a pillow too. So I just went on to Etsy and I ordered her a little pillow that says her name, so she can. Hey, you can't have one and don't have the other, you know. All right. So when I was cleaning my car the other day, I noticed that the plastic, like the interior, looked a little dull. And then in putting my what you call it, the arm, the armor all in it, it kind of soaked it up in some parts and not in others and i didn't like how it looked and i just didn't think armor all was right for some parts of the interior so i did some research and i found this it's called plastic restoro from the car guys and i mean if the car guys use it then you know old lady in her crocs can use it too so i'm going to try this out and let you guys know it comes with a little sponge and i just wanted to detail it inside of my car just so that it looks nice and clean and fresh and shiny you know, shiny and shiny. There's a big box over there, and I know it's for Stevie, and I know I did not order it, and I should just ignore it. Is that big box on the top there? Right. What in the? Yo, I don't believe this girl. You know. If you guys follow my sister on Instagram, her name is Tracy Stu. She also joins me for the show Tuesdays with Tricky, which you can watch right here on our YouTube channel. I can't believe this girl. So she's not, maybe she is pregnant. So she's been complaining that she can't find double stuffed Oreos in Jamaica. So good girl, order a piece of double stuffed Oreos. I guess I shouldn't complain because this is something I would do too. Girl, order your Oreos. I have to pay for them though. You see, see what she's saying? I'm gonna put them over here. And then let me just show you what that she has ordered. Let's see. So this is a baby brazo. I'm not going to open it because I know it's not for me and I just want to keep all the parts together. 
So Trace has definitely seen me with mine. I have a baby bursa for Remy. What this is, is you load in clean water um, and you load in formula and then you set it to um, how many ounces you want and it will mix the formula for you perfectly. It will also make sure that it doesn't have too many bubbles in it so your baby doesn't get any gas and also it sets it to the right temperature so your baby is not getting too hot or you have to try figure out you pour, pour out the boiling water from the thermos then to try mix it with the cold water and is it too hot is it too cold you don't have to deal with any of that i had to deal with that for levi and it was annoying um so if you have a little extra money i think the baby brother is great they actually did a updated one um because i know the very first ones didn't what didn't they do anyway this one it makes sure that it's at the right temperature and it makes sure it's mixed properly um so if you have a colicky baby or a gassy baby this is a good idea for you to get because also when you're mixing the formula and you're shaking you're shaking and you're putting bubbles in air bubbles in which kind of will aggravate the gas situation so i'm not going to get bex at her for um dying out for my niece all right next package what is this what is this i don't know so remy got a little robe for her birthday and Levi got jealous and you know what we, we do make bath time into a thing in my house so i asked him if he wanted a robe so he has a little fleece robe here oh, and it's so nice and soft so he'll be very happy when he comes home and his robe is here look at these other things though what is it what is it i don't know oh there's a little outfit here um this is actually i bought this for tracy so this is a little top with a pants i don't want to show off her things and she's like i can't even wear it now because she showed it to everybody on the youtube is this mine what is this I don't even know how come her order gets like mixed up in, in like that. I order so, oh, you know what? She has a wish list. And so she sends me things off of her wish list and I order them for her. Oh, this is is this a dress? Or oh, this is a little dress. There's a little dress here. And I noticed that she likes things that have like the um the wrap in the front, I guess because it's easier for her to press feed. This is a little ugly, but who am I to say? I wear Crocs, high heel Crocs. Okay, a little pink umbrella. Is this the one for the car? No, I think this is just for Remy. It's a little small pink. I was born on Friday the 13th, so it doesn't count. Um, there's a little pink umbrella for Remy. I think she sees that Levi has his um. What do you close this now? He has a Spider-Man umbrella. So it was actually Tracy that put this on her wish list for Remy. Or maybe it's for Tracy. Maybe she put it on her wish list for herself. Yes, but um, I'm immune to all bad luckiness like that because I was born on Friday the 13th. So. Not <laughs> nine of that for boys, <laughs> Something of that for boys, I can walk on the ladders and I can open umbrellas in the house and it's a really good feeling to know I can get away with that. This was... Oh, she takes Stevie on walks outside in the mornings and I guess Stevie... Is Stevie oh, she wants to lick a sweat deep on Stevie knows. So I think she's ordered a fan just to hook onto the stroller. So if you notice the fan has some um like feet there so you can kind of bend them around the frame of the pram you can bend it around anywhere and it's battery operated you can go like a clean up here so remy back at school as i said and i just got her just a little white um polo shirt and it has a ruffle um right by the button right here i don't know if you can see that it's a little white shirt she no wants to wear shirts on shots but okay oh I got her a uniform looking thing. So that little shirt. This is so cute. Oh no. I wonder if she gonna wear it. It's a little skirt like this. So she can look like she has on a uniform. I love a uniform. I love a uniform. It saves you from getting in trouble. Like, you, you know, you're not against the dress code. I love a uniform. 
love a uniform. So if she wears that, I could maybe get her, you know, a couple more of the skirts. She has school shirts she can wear. So I ordered this. It's supposed to be like a little knockabout. You know me and my knockabout around the house. I love knockabout. I mean, I mean, I knock, knock, knock. With a little top. This looks like a little big. But it's nice and soft. I could probably wear it to bed. What is this? What is this? I don't know. Oh, training panties. So these are panties for Remy. And the crotch is has like a thicker lining in it. So we're going to start party training her soon. So I wanted to get her some training panties that just had, it's almost, not a sponge. It's lined in the crotch with um, extra cotton so that if she wee up herself, it doesn't just drop straight out. It'll kind of absorb a little bit for it. We're like, hey, I need to go to the bathroom. Because I'm extra, more gum. More gum. More gum. Of course. More gum. Foaming toothpaste. So Levi has, I'm sure you've seen the ads for it. It's like a silicone tray with little bristles on the top, little bristles on the bottom. You put it in one time and the kids, it's fun, it's exciting, makes them want to brush their teeth. Also make sure they clean their teeth properly. So Levi has been using one now for about six months and um, he went to the dentist and the dentist is saying that his teeth do look clean and blah, 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 blah. But it uses a special toothpaste. It uses, Sean actually tried with regular toothpaste, but I just didn't find it covered the tray. So there's like a foaming toothpaste that you use with it. It just comes out like, like a mousse. And you just drop it on the tray, good to go. Oh, oh, Sean will be happy. Finally, something for my husband. So he was asking for a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, and he likes his brand. So this is his speaker. Let me actually, you know what? Let me just put this right here in case he opens the door. Like he's not going to see any of the other boxes here. Just see this. You won't be like, you are shopping again. What is all of this junk in here? What is this? Oh, you got the speaker. Let me look. If you ever sit in here. <laughs> Next up. I have to go on the road, you know, and I'm not sure about next stop. Everything I mixed up, next stop. This is so unnecessary. Okay, this is very unnecessary. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, that was him. Right when I'm saying this is so unnecessary, in my sexy high heel crocs. Um, foil sheets for cooking. Um, sometimes, what you call it? Sometimes Price Mart is out. So instead of the foil on the road, I'll just use pop-up sheets because it helps with, you know, sometimes you can just reel off the foil and foil is not cheap. So I find that with the foil sheets, you just pull and the sheet is, in most instances in my house, is a perfect size. So we've got, oh, we got some mini mouse panties, more training panties. We're going to be training, training, training. And some white puff paint for my craft project that I'm going to be doing. What is it? What is it? I don't know. What is it? Oh, let me just tell you something. Let me tell you something. I just find that as a parent, when you pick up your child from school, it's like expected that you dress appropriately or properly. I don't have properly clothes. I am just not that proper. Like, hey, be behind. Hey. Carmelita is here to pick you up in her sexy clocks. Come on now. So I've been trying to make an effort, although my gym clothes are, you know, a little sexy. But hey, I didn't do all of this surgery for nothing. So big up to Dr. Ross and check out my video. So I try. I try. So I got this little dress. I have it in a peachy color as well. And it's nice and soft. It's a little short, but that's not my fault. It's Amazon's fault really not my fault and then okay okay Matthew Samuda do not come for me do not I swear Matthew just leave me alone so when you're buying your drinks for your kids a little small the Capri Sun and the box juice paper straws cannot open them Mr. Samuda okay paper straws cannot open them you're gonna make me feel really bad I bet you message me I bet you message me so Matthew Samuda is one of our ministers of um, government here in Jamaica. Is he a minister of government? I think he's a man. Yes. And he put um, 
he was the one that started the ban on plastic bags and on plastic straws in Jamaica, which was an amazing initiative. And it does help to save the turtles and it does help to save the, um, the oceans and the wildlife. And it was a very good initiative. And I don't use plastic bags anymore, but the, the, and I don't use plastic straws like the bigger drinking straws. However, on the children's juice packs, it's very difficult to open a foil seal with a paper straw. And so I'm really sorry, but I bought a pack of little small stirrer straws so that I can just drop in a kid's lunch pan and add to the rubbish in the gullies, Matthew. Yes, I know. Okay. Make me feel so bad. But you know what it's like when you're like, trying to like okay it's it's like all of a sudden that capri sun is like made of cement and you're trying to open it with a piece of paper it doesn't work it does not work it doesn't work so just please i will i will ask the teachers nicely to make sure they're disposed of in the garbage and not in the ocean don't come for me just saying next item to kill the planet you know what? I made up for it. I can buy plastic straws because I wear high heel clogs. Okay, organizing again. So I redid the kids' drawers with, um, I just bought them metal forks, spoons, and knives. Um, I bought them different tapes. Some of them were cracked, but in the drawer where I'm organizing them, I just need to, oh, this is great. So you can put the bowls in here so the bowls are stacked up and they're just kept in one place so there's not all over the place or so I'm going to put the bowls here and this is great because if you, depending on the size of your bowls, you just loosen this back here and break it. So, you know, sometimes you have like, um, cereal bowls, you have, um, breakfast bowls, or you may have soup bowls. So this can expand to the size of your bowl. Hey, your speaker is here. Right here. Nice. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, so what I was saying was this just holds your bowls as one for plates as well. But this was a really good idea because I don't want when the kids open a drawer. And I don't know, when Levi's opening a drawer or a door, he's Hercules. And he can't just, just open the drawer. So it just keeps them from like rolling around and stuff like that. We're almost at the end. Stay with me. Or not, just drop a like and leave. Next up, we have... Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for these. I kind of want to use them today. Okay. So we have... Fake baby hair. I think I'm gonna use these today for Tuesdays are tricky. Yeah, like I have this straight back. Okay, I'm gonna try these today. So it's just, there's a couple different designs in here. I don't know how this is gonna work or look, but I'm definitely gonna try it out. I think this would be great. So it's almost like, uh, like you just want like a water tattoo, you know those water tattoos that you stick on? And I'm going to try that, got them, because I thought it would be, you need to change up your look. All right, for the parents, we have a preschool book, ages three to five. Levi needs to practice his writing, his numbers, and just to kind of engage him in the evenings because although he is in kindergarten one and he doesn't really get homework, I like for him to sit down just for 15 minutes in the evening, sometimes less, and do a couple of pages out of a workbook. So this is the big preschool, um, three to five um, skill skill areas include pre-writing skills alphabet colors and shapes following directions number early math and more and i just think it's great to in just to introduce the whole fact that you will have to sit down in the evenings and do homework so you're preparing them and also you're kind of solidifying and going through what they went through in school that day and just preparing them you know so i think it's a really good idea to sit down with your kids and, and do homework you can also get tons of worksheets online but i decided to get a book Next, oh, I'm, I'm wondering how I haven't. This is a vitamin C brightening serum. Um, the one that I used last finished, and this is by Skin and Lab. It's a 15% Vita Energy Complex. Um, it's really good to use a vitamin C below your sunblock. Postnatal Oreos. Post oh, post means after. Oh. Tracy's postnatal um vitamins vitamin supplements and then oh and this is daily immune support one of sean's vitamins there this is a lot of things to link below you know please i'm asking you please drop a like and make sure you're subscribed because honestly dropping a link to all of these things is really hard work you know it is a pain in the butt 
and I would just like to thank you if you use the link. It is an Amazon affiliated link and I make a small commission off of the products you have purchased. Is that what I was supposed to say? Vacuum suction hook. <laughs> it sounds sexy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> if you're into that freaky. Anyway, so um, I do give Levi chores. Little simple chores. Please take out your socks and shoes for school tomorrow. He started to polish his own shoes for school. And in the night now, I would like him to take his... Um, towel next door and the hook is a little too high for him so I'm just going to hang this lower down and I'm going to say when he's finished bathing and lotioning himself if he can go and hang up his own towel it's just a hook that can vacuum onto the glass pushes up and he can hang up his own towel it's really good it doesn't matter what age your children are you need to start giving them little chores it can be the simplest of things go hang up your own towel make your bed it doesn't have to be the bed don't have to look like oh my gosh you just left the Hyatt but just for him to take a little pride in his, you know. Oh, this is probably what Nana was waiting on. Okay. All right, all right. Yes, it is what Nana was waiting on. Okay, so dropping her IG below is Handmade Cards My Dandy. That's my mom. And this is just paper that she uses to make her cards. This is for a corporate client that she has. So not only does she do cards for, you know, you can call here at like this, um, the card for a birthday. She can also personalize cards. If you have like a special event that, you know, you're like, oh, it was a watermelon theme, blah, 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 blah. She can personalize cards. I would like to engage. I want one of those boxes that float out, um, the, all different pages in the box. She can do that. And also, if you are a cooperation or you want to give multiple of the same cards, she has a corporate Christmas client, and so she'll be making cards to them. You can get in touch with Handmade Cards by Nandi, and she can do cards for you. I'll send you the invoice for that big plug moment. And the mail pack bill. Final package for today. I honestly don't know what this is. This is not for me. This is so nice. It's on canvas. It's a picture on canvas. And this is of Scott, Tracy, and Stevie. All right, guys, so I'm going to put links below. I will find out from Tracy where she got this printed. I'm going to put links below to all of the items that you have seen here today. Please make sure you drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not. And let me know which one of these items you thought were one, the most interesting, and two, Never needed them at all. Never needed it at all. So let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey.